So you're about to dive into competitive Pokemon and you want to use the big grass ground land turtle to bring the wrath of the earth down onto your opponents. Well this is the guide for you. My name is the Asian Trainer aka Waffles and I'm here to help you jumpstart your competitive career but how can I talk about this now? The game doesn't come out for another 9 days well. All the movesets, abilities and basically everything about the games have just leaked so we're gonna get an early start tonight. Unfortunately Torterra's stat distribution leaves a little something to be desired in the speed area but I mean he's a tortoise turtle thing and you can't really expect too much there. However what he lacks in speed he makes up for in some pretty decent physical attack defense and HP. So we're gonna go for more of a bulky set with the understanding that we'll probably be outsped and have to tank a hit first. Now you definitely want to use Earthquake and Woodhammer as they're both powerful moves that get the same type attack boost from Torterra's ground and grass dual typing. The third move should probably be Stone Edge as it gives you something to hit flying types super effectively as they are immune to your ground move and resist the Woodhammer. Although many will still take a good chunk if they switch in on it just because of how powerful Woodhammer is. For the final move, it's between Stealth Rocks and Curse, however, I'd personally recommend Stealth Rocks over the Curse set. Entry hazards are very important as they punish your opponent for switching and while Torterra isn't really an optimal lead Pokemon most of the time, it is able to force your opponent to switch out certain Pokemon if you come in on them, and you can take advantage of that with Torterra as a secondary Stealth Rock Pokemon. The same principle applies for Curse though, you can set up a Curse as they swap out, however, my issue with using Curse is that you lose all the benefit you just got if you switch your Torterra out and your opponent is most likely switching into something that can counter or check your Torterra. So if you use your free turn to set up Stealth Rocks, you can then switch out and keep your Torterra alive for another day while still keeping the rocks on the field. Now because you're almost always going to be the slowest Pokemon on the field, we're not going to invest in speed at all. Instead, we're going to go full bulk with 252 HP EVs and 252 physical attack EVs. The remaining four can go into whichever of the defenses you prefer as the difference is pretty minor. Another alternative is going full HP and defense and really working off that curse move set, but I kind of think that can be pretty situational and it's pretty hard to make work. Now you want to go for an adamant nature as you don't use your special attack stat at all, and for items I'd recommend leftovers. And that's actually it for viable Torterra sets, so let's move on to partners. Now, when it comes to partners, you really need something that can handle ice types because Torterra's four times weakness to them means he's gonna likely be knocked out with just a teeny bit of snow. Ironically, another Sinnoh starter actually fits the bill quite nicely. Empoleon can come in to tank most ice hits with four times resistance and can work as a specially defensive tank to help balance out your tanks with Torterra. Tentacruel is also pretty decent as it tends to struggle more with bulky ground and steel types that Torterra can handle relatively well. Uh, some other partners to possibly include with some caveats are Heatran which can be an alright partner but Torterra has a hard time switching in on its ground weakness. Bronzong and Skarmory are decent but they will often lose you momentum in battle so they're not quite optimal when paired with a Slowmon like Torterra. However, all three of these can work pretty decently with the right team support. Mainly though, you want to aim for a bulky water type as they can usually tank not only the ice hits that come your way but they also help with Torterra's slight fire type issue. Now I'll be making a lot more of these if you like them, so let me know which Pokemon you want me to cover from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we'll probably cover any of your favorites at some point in time. Subscribe if you like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye